How's it everyone? Welcome to another Racky review right here on Open Court. I'm Kent and today we're taking a look at the newest update to Head's probably most popular player's frame. That racket is the Head Auxetic 2.0 Prestige Pro. Let's check it out. So first, I want to give a quick shout out to On Point Sports here in Hawaii on the island of Oahu. I go there all the time to test out their rackets. They're great people. They have a great shop, great selection of tennis gear. So that's where I got this demo from and they were gracious enough to let me borrow it. So thank you On Point Sports. And if you guys are ever in Hawaii, Oahu specifically, check out On Point Sports for your tennis related needs. All right, so the Prestige Pro. I've said in the past that the Prestige line is a dying breed. There aren't very many players anymore who like this. Obviously pros and high level college level players love this type of frame because it's so player friendly in terms of the control and the feel. A lot of players still use the Prestige mold, but in terms of the casual player, most players are kind of leaning towards tweener rackets, more powerful, comfortable uh, oriented rackets. The Prestige, I don't really see very many people playing with this anymore, but it's still popular apparently and they've released a 2023 update with the Auxetic 2.0. So Auxetic is a technology that's included in the yoke over here, which is supposed to help the racket flex and bend more optimally to give you better feel. And so far I've used just about every Auxetic racket that Head has released and I do notice that it has a little bit better feel and touch. And this is supposed to be an update and supposed to flex a little bit better. I'm not gonna get into all the different technologies because I've done those videos in the past, but this also retains the Graphene 360 Plus technology, which has Graphene here and here and up here, as well as the throat and also has the spiral fibers in the shoulders. All right, so let's take a quick look at the specs of the Prestige Pro 2023 update. There's nothing really updated about the specs. They're basically all the same. 98 square inch, 18 by 20. That's a very interesting uh, setup. I actually really like 98, 18, 20s. It has a 20 millimeter beam, which is really, really thin. And another thing that I read online about this update, it's supposed to swing faster. Although the balance point and the weight hasn't changed from the previous generation, if it swings faster, that's good news for me because I couldn't really generate much spin on my uh, serves because it felt a little bit sluggish. So I'm excited to kind of try that out. And On Point has strung this Prestige Pro up with Head Hawk Power, which is another one of my favorite strings that has come out this year and they strung it at 52 pounds. And I gotta say the uh, Bordeaux colorway, this burgundy that the Prestige line has kind of gone towards recently is a really, really nice paint job. So let's get on the court. Let's see how this Prestige Pro plays. The last generation was not the best for me, but I have a good feeling about this one. So let's get on the court and let's try out the new Prestige Pro. All right, guys, I'm on court with the new Prestige Pro featuring the Auxetic 2.0. This is arguably Head's most difficult racket to use, so I'm excited but also a little bit nervous to get this out on the court. So let's see how this plays. Oh. Okay, so the Prestige is historically a very difficult racket to swing with. Man, this thing feels responsive though. I wonder if it's the Auxetic 2.0, but I actually feel the ball sitting on the strings. So far, I'm liking this response. I get that control. When I have that dwell time, I feel more confident going for big shots. And with the Prestige, oh, you kind of have to. Yeah, that tight 18-20 string pattern keeps the ball nice and low. Oh man, it knifes through that slice. Hey! Oh. This racket's actually a little bit more powerful than I was expecting. It's strung with head hawk power, which is actually a fairly responsive string. I'm actually pleasantly surprised with this so far. The head size feels nice and forgiving for a 98. Oh, nice shot. Wow, the ball really sits on the, oh, the strings. But this racket is fairly responsive. It doesn't get a whole lot of power, obviously it's prestige, but it gets great control, great feel. I just have to block the ball in front, really. Yeah, I can place it exactly where I'm aiming. Stays nice and low because of that string pattern. 
but it knifes through contact, so it actually gets a decent amount of pace. But what I like about the Prestige is definitely the feel. I can really feel the ball sitting on the strings and it gets such great control on the volleys. All right, so I just finished up my play test of the new Prestige Pro and I gotta say, I was very, very pleasantly surprised with this update. This plays a lot different than I remember from the previous generation, so I was very pleasantly surprised with the new Prestige Pro. Let's get into the full pros and cons. So let's start with the pros of the 2023 Auxetic 2.0 Prestige Pro. This racket really surprised me because it felt so different from the previous version. I don't know what head did because on paper the specs are the same, but this version swung so much faster and was much more forgiving than the previous version. It's still a low powered racket, so purists of the Prestige Pro will find plenty of control, but the weight distribution was much more in line with what I typically like. I like headlight rackets because they are easier to bring over my head and pronate on the kick serve and the difference in my kick serve between this Prestige and the previous edition was like night and day. With the previous Prestige Pro the racket felt so sluggish and my kick serves would just sit up there for my opponent to attack. My doubles partner when I play tested the previous Prestige commented how my kick serves were barely kicking so he didn't feel he could poach on my second serves. I think he would be proud of me now with this edition. Even with that tight 1820 string pattern, the racket felt so fast that I saw my kick serve bouncing up and away. The racket also cut through the air well on slice serves, but because I hit the slice serve with a lower trajectory, I had to toss a bit higher to clear the net. The kick serve was easily my favorite serve with the new Prestige. Another reason I like headlight rackets is because they're more maneuverable at net. I could hit reaction and defensive volleys no problem, but more importantly, I could still dictate the point with my angle and placement volleys. If a racket is more sluggish like the previous Prestige, I end up not quite catching the sweet spot on my volleys and that means I don't get the pinpoint placement on volleys. I like to aim for the lines or at my opponent's feet and that accuracy comes with maneuverability of the racket. Headlight rackets make poaching a bit easier as well. It allows me to get my racket into position to attack a poach or to quickly react if the returner hits the return behind me. This racket had that scalpel-like precision and ease of movement which I covet. The new Prestige with its headlighter feel and thin beam knife through the air on slices so easily. The tight string pattern keeps slices low and skidding and I could also drop defensive slices and lobs pretty much where I was aiming. My backhand slice felt amazing with the Prestige and could possibly be my favorite shot with this racket. It's a close contest among a few shots. The Prestige doesn't get pushed around on defensive slices or even shots hit on the run which brings me to my next point, the stability. This racket is so stable that I loved it on my return of serve. I like to step in and redirect the power from my opponent's serve and the Prestige Pro is the perfect racket for that kind of hitter for two reasons. Number one, the racket is low powered and the launch angle is low so it reduces the risk of sending the ball past the baseline. Secondly, this racket is so stable that it doesn't twist in the hand even if I strike the return slightly off center. That means I can send the return back with enough force so it doesn't go in the net or give my opponent a sitting duck to crush. The Prestige line is historically known for its amazing stability because of the cap grommets. If you've never hit with a cap grommet racket before, you're missing out. Although the cap grommet adds a lot of swing weight, it makes the racket incredibly stable and gives it so much plow through that for advanced players who can handle the swing weight, exchanging ground strokes becomes a pure dream. I'm not usually one that can handle the swing weight of cap grommets. I once put full cap grommets on my Graphene Radical Pro and that was a big mistake. The racket became super sluggish and I was late on everything. But I could handle the swing weight of this new Prestige Pro and it struck a very good balance between stability and maneuverability. The good stability also meant the racket didn't get pushed around at net on reaction volleys or on the low first volleys when I was approaching the net. I'm more of a serve and volleyer, I felt absolutely no confidence serving and volleying with the previous generation, but with this one I had no trouble dictating the point with my serve and getting in position by punching a low approach volley deep. Not just volleys but ground strokes, especially the forehand, felt sensational. I don't usually like to hang back and engage in long ground stroke rallies, but I felt so comfortable and confident from the backcourt that I found myself having a lot of fun hitting my forehands. 
The launch angle is low, but the racket swings so fast and has decent plow through, so my forehands look like it had some decent pace on them. Even with the tighter pattern, the Prestige provides ample topspin potential because it's so aerodynamic and can put rotation on the ball. I would love to try this racket with headlinks tour or a sharp poly for added control and spin. I had pinpoint accuracy when playing singles and aiming sideways or deep. And lastly the feel. This racket, just like with most rackets these days, felt a bit on the muted side, but the steadiness of the cap grommets made hitting drop shots and touch shots fairly easy. This lack of response could be solved with a crisper poly so it's not a huge problem. Would I like something more responsive? Yes. Is this racket completely muted like the new Yonex Percept series? No. So good enough for me. So let's get into the cons of the 2023 Prestige Pro. For me personally, I couldn't find very many things wrong with this racket. The low powered nature could be an objective con with the Prestige because most intermediate level players or below have no business with a racket like this. This racket is for advanced players who swing fast and generate their own pace. The Prestige Pro, although more forgiving than the previous generation, doesn't give you anything for free so you have to earn it. Players who don't have fast swings also will find the tighter string pattern gives no free spin either. The shot I struggled most with using the Prestige was my backhand. Because I have a two-hander and have a shorter swing, I dumped a lot of backhands into the net. This was due to the low power level and launch angle of the Prestige. If I was forced to hit a backhand above my chest, I couldn't generate enough torque just with my shoulders, so I really had to put my back into it or my shot would just die as it crossed the net. This was most noticeable when I was returning an opponent's kick serve. My flat serve also didn't have the pace that it normally has and this came as no surprise for me. Other thin beam low power rackets like the Prince Phantom don't give me any help on my flat serve. But the issue with my backhand and flat serve can be solved by tinkering with the strings and tension. I would love to try this new Prestige with natural gut mains and alu power crosses. That should unlock everything the Prestige seems to be lacking which is power and feel. Aside from these issues, I could not find anything wrong with the racket and I love this playtest. So who is the 2023 Auxetic 2.0 Prestige for? I think previous generation users would still like it although in my opinion it feels quite a bit different. But the Prestige is for players who have long fast swings and want more control and stability for their baseline game. I think net players or servant volleyers might benefit from thinner gauge strings with this racket for more spin and feel. Also, I would only recommend this racket to players who can handle the added swing weight of cap grommets. So I was very surprised with this new Prestige, so much so that I'm contemplating maybe buying one and testing various setups in it like a natural gut hybrid. I am now also curious to try the Prestige Tour with the more open pattern. So have you guys tried the new Prestige? Do you agree that it feels more maneuverable than the previous year? Or am I way off base and maybe I got a defective demo? I doubt it, but I definitely want to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for watching this review of the new 2023 Head Auxetic 2.0 Prestige Pro right here on Open Court. If you guys like this content, be sure to overhead smash the like and subscribe button to keep the reviews coming and I'll see you on an open court.